All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I want to start talking to you guys about link building basics. Now, as we already know, what Google and every search engine is going to do is they basically go and try to crawl every single web page on the entire internet. Now, one thing, one piece of information that they gather up are the links on all of the web pages. Now, why do they do that? Why do they care about this? Well, because whenever you have a link, to another web page, whether it's just a web page on your own website or a web page on another website or to another website, should I say, is it's basically telling Google, hey, this is a connection. This is how these web pages are connected or related to each other. So for example, on my profile page, I have a link to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter. So all of these things are somehow related to me, to my profile. Now in terms of SEO, since we know that, in general, as a general rule, it's good to have a lot of links pointing to sites or web pages that you want to rank higher. So say that we have 25% of all the web pages in the entire world pointing to the homepage of the new Boston, then Google is obviously going to think, hey, this is probably a really important web page. We're probably going to want to rank this one higher than, you know, just some other one. So again, in general, it's good to have more links or as many links as possible pointing to your web pages. Now, another thing that links do is search engines use them to determine what type of web page it is. So links are made up of two parts. And let me show you guys this. See if I can find a link here. All right. So basically a link is the URL, which is pretty much just the main website, whatever it is. And you also have a chunk of text inside. So like this right here. So this text is an indicator to Google, what is this page? So if there were a bunch of links all throughout the entire internet pointing to my Twitter, they're gonna have a bunch of different texts inside. Bucky's Twitter, one might say follow me on Twitter, one might say the Twitter of the new Boston, but basically whenever someone goes to a search engine and types in Bucky Roberts, Twitter, what part of the search engine formula is, is going through and looking at that text. And this is the visible text and saying, okay, what text had these keywords in it? Well, a lot of them were pointing to this link. So this is the first one that's going to display. So it's not only getting a bunch of links to point to a certain web page, it's the actual text inside. So whatever keyword you're trying to target, it's good whenever you're building links to have those keywords inside. All right, so we know that it's good to have a lot of links. We also know that it's important to have the right keyword. Another thing that's pretty important is to have links on sites that are relevant to your content. So let's say, all right, I wanna increase the results of this page right here, my main videos page. So I know that I'm gonna try to build a lot of links. I also know that I'm gonna try to build, you know, maybe Java tutorials. I know what keywords I'm going after. However, I just don't want to stick these on any website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to target websites that are relevant to computer programming. What websites are that? Well, maybe this Wikipedia page about computer programming, maybe some programming forums, maybe Stack Overflow, because whenever you have a link on Stack Overflow, whenever someone posts that, they post it because it's related to that community to computer programming, to computer science. So again, it's good to try to build links on other sites relevant to your site, not just like, you know, your friend's social network about bananas or whatever. Now, one of the last things I wanna talk about is link quality. So we already talked a little bit about link quantity. If a bunch of websites are pointing to one web page, that web page is probably really important, but it's also the quality of that link. So just a real quick example, if I'm walking down the street and some crackhead recommends some restaurant to me, I'm never going to go to that restaurant. I'm gonna think that crackhead is trying to lure me in somewhere so they can kidnap me. I do not trust that crackhead. Now, if I was at my grandma's house and she recommended a restaurant to me, I'd be like, oh, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm gonna go check that out. Why is that? They're both people, they're both recommending restaurants. It's because I trust my grandma. Now, on the internet, every link is essentially a connection or a recommendation. So whenever Google looks at these, it's gonna say, okay, 
You have a bunch of links pointing to the new Boston, but are they from reputable sources? Maybe there's some shady website that looked like it was trying to take your credit card and there's a bunch of links pointing to my website. That would suck. It would actually hurt my uh, search engine results ranking. However, if there are a bunch of links on a trusted website like Stack Overflow, Wikipedia, these are websites that Google trusts. They have Google trusts. They have reliable sources. So those would be great links. Now, if you're wondering, how do we know if a site is trustworthy or not? Well, if the site is just well known and popular, then you know it's pretty obvious if it's been around for a while. And also, any site that ends in edu or .gov, if you can get links on those sites, those are incredibly trustworthy sites, a lot more so than .com. So again, educational and government sites. I know like a lot of you guys are just like trying to sell t-shirts online and you know, just sites that are probably never going to get linked on government websites. So I know a lot of that is impossible for a lot of you, but it does have a little bit of effect. So I just want to throw that out there. So again, in general, a couple of rules. What we learn is it's good to have a lot of external sites pointing to the web pages you want to rank high the keywords inside the links actually matter and it's good to have links on trustworthy popular sites so there you go there is the real quick basics of link building there's a lot more to cover but we'll do that in the future for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time